About 25 years ago, I went to a historical society sale where people donated items to yeah. keep the historical society going. And uh, I collected Halloween. And I walked in, and he was sitting on the floor. And I purchased him. He cost the whole $10. I inquired about who made it and was a local gentleman who worked in uh, a factory. And uh, supposedly it was like around 1920 or 1930. This is the epitome of American folk art. Here's a guy who was probably a mill worker along the Monongahela River, right. local guy. Right. I think the date is correct for it because we're sort of in the era of prohibition and the big temperance movement. So devils are out there and they're warning you about the evils of drink. It's just one individual's kind of inspiration and humor and capability, and it's just got such personality. It's the beauty of American folk art. This piece could probably bring between four and five thousand dollars. Wow, jeez. Well, it sat on my front porch during Halloween for 25 years right. in October for the whole month. Right. And he had the corn stalks around him and everything, and uh, right. I think we're going to be bringing him in. You've got to find another centerpiece. <laughs> I know. Yeah. He's Jeez. just, he's delicious. And he's quite a guy.